Baseball taking on Endicott College, ranked seventh in the nation at home on Wednesday afternoon, looking to extend their winning streak to three consecutive games. The goals would take the lead first in this one as Kyle Grabowski has an RBI single up the middle against Ross Dexter. Goals go in front 1-0 in the first inning. But the Beacons would respond in the third as Thomas Barbieri throws the ball in the left field as The double steal was on for Drew Metzdorf and Aiden Blake. Metzdorf comes in to score. We have a tie ball game at one all. And then Craig Corliss, who's been swinging a hot bat this week with an RBI single through the left side, scores Blake. And now it's 2-1 in favor of the home team. However, the goals would get back into it as Nicholas Nostrangelo would double the left center and make it a 2-2 ball game against Dexter. But Dexter would settle down and would end up Finishing this game going six and two-thirds innings, giving up two runs, one earned on six hits with seven strikeouts and two walks, as well as two hit batters. He threw 111 pitches in a tie ball game. still in the bottom of the fifth. It's Corliss again with an RBI single up the middle. The Beacons now up three to two. Another big name for the Beacons this week so far has been Justin Gavea, the freshman outfielder, has been making his mark first yesterday at WestCon and then Today against the goals as that double into the corner is going to score two runs and the Beacons go up for good. Five to two in this one. We move on over to the seventh inning. Endicott would look to threaten against Brendan Ferrari, but a big strikeout here on a 2-2 count gets him out of the jam and the Beacons remain up by three runs and they get some insurance as Johnny Zerilli Jr., Homers in the seventh inning, a solo shot, his second of the season, makes it a 6-2 to two ball game. And then a little while later, as we'll see in a moment, Patrick Tevenin would hit a sacrifice fly to center field as there are runners on the corners to make it a 6-3 to three ball game. But then Aiden Blake would respond with a three-run towering home run to left field to put the Beacons up 9-3. to three. They win 9-3 to three as Sam Gray would shut down the ninth inning for UMass Boston, who's now won three in a row, knocks off the seventh team in the nation who was on a six-game winning streak and now will head to Roger Williams University tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock p.m. before returning home this weekend for a non-conference doubleheader against Salve Regina.